Lady Chief Lamp, dedicating it to Sherilyn and Dolores. They want to see a video on those and not the ones I did on Betty Boo. So I use my computer and then I'm going to type it in. And I'm doing um I'm doing a lamp. So I'm gonna search for logo wallpaper. And I'm gonna do something simple. So I'm gonna save this image. And I'm gonna name it. Then I'm going to go out of there, and I'm going to go to my Cricut Design Space. So, what I did, I went to Upload. I already uploaded it, and I went to Browse. And then I went to my recent, and the recent will show the last thing that I picked, which is Kansas City. And then we open it, and then this is what it looks like. And you push complex, and then you push continue, and then you you don't want to apply no changes to it, so you want to push continue, click on it, and push continue. That's how we get the picture. So now I have two. So I'm going to take, click this and open it in my Cricut Design Space. And I'm going to make it, this is six inches wide now. So the picture is not that big. So I'm going to stretch it out some. Stretch it out. And then I'm using the MacBook, so I'm going to, Push Shift Command and four, and I'm going to screenshot what I did because everything is not print and cut. Because right here, as you see, that orange triangle, the yellow triangle, means it's too big to do a print and cut. So I'm just going to go out of there, open it up, and I'm going on File and Print. So I want to print the whole entire fit to scale entire page print so it's being printed and I'm printing it on my Epson wide for uh, um Epson regular printer regular printer ego tank it has a refillable tank and I'm using 90 pound white car stock you can get from amazon for about ten dollars a pack 90 pounds is what i use that's the most you can put into a printer without um without it you know not being able to print so that's coming out so i'm gonna be put i'm gonna use black because of the black that's in the kansas city i'm gonna use black so what i do i take my slicing board and I trim off the white edging at the bottom. It don't have to be perfectly trimmed. Just take that white edging off. Take it off of the side. Take it off of the bottom. So I'm showing y'all exactly how I do mine. So I'm taking all this edging off now from both ends and i printed out the full sheet so this is an a5 by 11 piece of paper 90 pound car stock a5 by 11 all printed out so there you go i got the whole thing printed out what i do now is i 
place it where I wanted it on my lamp. And you see, because it's a heavy car stock, if I put the glue through there, the glue is not going to bleed through my picture. And once my picture dry, I will add another layer of Mod Podge on it to give it that sealing, that seal look. And I always leave my lines in the back because when you turn your lamp on, if you put it with your lines in the front, it's going to show up through the lamp when you turn it on. So I'm measuring it here, laying it flat. Take the marker and mark where I want it cut. So I'm going to cut that piece off because the picture's too big and we don't need all that much. So I would like to say thanks for finding my channel, my YouTube channel. Tracy Simmons Gordon, my crafting group is crafting together as one. Like I said, I'm making this video for Dolores and Sherlyn because they would like to know how I've done it this way. I've done Betty Boop and I've done the Divas, but they want to know how this one is done. So I'm doing this one so they know how this is done. So I'm cutting this at that line so that they can fit properly on my lamp. So that's properly. So I only use my Podge and I only use sponge brushes. So I'm going to take some, mix it up, make sure it's good. Put some across this top where I'm going to start at. Because that's the important part. Because if you, And make sure it's not clumpy under there because you don't want clumps. Because clumps will show up in your picture. Now the reason why I use the 90 pound car stop because I feel like that's better only because because of the thick material. I'm about to put it on backwards. That's a made that mistake before I put it upside down. So it's on there. Just take your time and rub it. Make sure you don't feel no bubbles. Because we don't want bubbles. And make sure it's not upside down. Because I made a mistake and put them upside down before. And after that, I'll just lay it flat. And just add some more glue to it. That's all. Add some glue. To the whole thing. Making sure... It's not streaky, just add some glue. Now that the glue is added, and you'll see, now that I added the glue, you see my close-up. It's not clumpy. You ain't gonna see no clumps in there. And then I'm gonna take my hand nicely, and I'm gonna rub it. Focusing mainly on the edges right here. Because that's the part you want to make sure it stick. Once you stick this on here, after two or three minutes, if you try and peel it off because you put it upside down, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. I don't cover the whole lamp. I could if I want to. I have a wide format print. I would probably have to do a 11 by 17 or a 13 by 19. To cover the whole thing. So I lift it up and put a little bit more on that side. So so far, this is pretty much done. I don't have to do nothing to that no more. Because of that 90 pound car stop, the glue did not bleed through it at all. This is pretty much done. I'm not gonna do anything else to that. Then I'm gonna take this lampshade, the lampshade part, and I'm gonna take this leftover piece that belongs at the bottom, and I'm gonna put glue on that. Let me turn the ceiling fan on. I'm hot. I had the heat on it here. Because I was cold. And now I'm hot. Alright. There you go. A little teeny bit of fan. So I'm going to just 
put some glue in here because you know this glue actually sticks to the glass too and and it's, you don't want to peel that off so please y'all subscribe to my channel if you like my videos the lamps if you call if you text me and ask me about the lamps you only can get the lamps in Dorham, North Carolina. You cannot get them nowhere else. Only Dorham, North Carolina. I drove up there. Seven and a half hours drive and eight hours back to pick up lamps. I have about a hundred and something in my basement that I'm going to keep for my own self. So I will not be selling them either. So I think of my chief piece. I'm going to... um. Make sure it's lined up. And I just put it at the bottom. And and this is, you don't want to bling out everything because men don't do bling. So, then I'm making this lamp. If it's for a woman, then I would bleed. I would put the bling on it to add a little accents, you know, for the woman. I'm gonna let this dry for for 20 minutes. Put this in there. Put my top on it. Make sure I ain't got no lifted pieces. If I do, add some little bit of glue for any lifted pieces. Because one thing you don't want is for it comes loose if somebody buy it. So I have no lifted pieces. Everything is nice and smooth. There you go, Sherlyn. What did you think? Now, you can put your picture around the whole thing. I never put the picture around the whole lamp. They're only going to have this part facing in front of them. You don't need to do the whole thing. If you do the whole thing, then you need bigger. You need a wide format printer, and you need longer paper. At least 11 by 17 if you want to cover the whole entire lamp. So there you go. It takes approximately maybe five minutes to put this lamp together. If you're going to add bling on it, it might take you ten minutes. What do you think? Do you like it? All right. Thanks for watching my video. I'm going to um, add some Mod Podge to it, but I'm going to let it dry for a few seconds because that's the, you have to let it dry a little bit and when i do the mod podge basically all i'm gonna do is add a thin layer make sure nothing make sure no papers come loose if you don't want it to come loose and then just add a layer on top of it just like that See, just add a layer. A layer will seal it up and give it that that coating to it to make it look shiny. So there's a coating to it on that one. Let that dry for a few seconds, and then take this one and do the same thing. Just add a coating. It don't have to be thick and crazy. Just put a, a thin coating on top of it. A nice thin coating. And it's... Sorry that everybody can't get these lamps, but... Listen, if I can drive seven to eight hours, I'm sure y'all can find somebody to drive with y'all. Go down there, make it a girl's trip, and get your lamps. If you get somebody 
and drive with you. You can make a nice girls trip, stay overnight, go back and forth to the dollar store every single day for a whole day and get it because a lot of stores only want you to do a little bit at a time. So you just go in there, one person go get a few boxes, next person get a few boxes, put them in the car, go back in. They let you get them. You can go in and out the store and get it. You just can't buy it all at one time. So that needs to dry. Let me turn this on. And don't even, and it don't even take that long to dry. It just takes a few minutes. Just make sure you ain't got no clumpy parts on here. You don't want no clumpiness. And you don't want no loose pieces. So my picture, my picture was over by a teeny bit. So I'm gonna take my Zacto knife and I'm gonna trim that off. So Mod Podge is what I use. Mod Podge dries clear. This is gonna be drying clear real soon. It's only take a few minutes to dry, to dry clear. I'm gonna set that there. These are the other ones that I did where the Mod Podge is already cleared on there. See how it's nice and clear? So I did the Steelers. That's my husband's favorite team. I did the Cowboys by cutting the paper off and putting another piece at the bottom. That's my favorite team, it's the Cowboys. And since I'm from Philly, Eagles is everybody else's favorite team. My husband still likes the Eagles. Listen, I am a go-to team. So whoever's winning is my team for that day. I'm not a big football fan. But there you go. So I got all my lamps lined up. I'm going to do a pop-up shot probably on Saturday. So I'll be able to... Um, take all these teams and i think this lamp i didn't really read it but it says something about suck sucks facts sports happy philadelphia quarterbacks just change drives hates defense so i guess it's a it's a lamp uh, because the uh, eagles always against the cowboys they like big rivals so thanks for watching my videos please subscribe to my channel ring the bell for all the other um videos that I have done. Thanks everybody for supporting me. You know, I have time. I can talk to people. I do work at night. I try to answer everybody's questions. You know, y'all work that y'all doing in my group crafting together as one is very beautiful. If y'all like to see me try something, I have no problem with that. Just be mindful when y'all ask me to try something that most stuff I only make based on sales if i make stuff based on what everybody wants then it's going to cost me money then i have a bunch of stuff just laying around the house so if it's something simple and easy that you really can't get that you would like for me to do i don't have no problem with doing it okay bye bye